In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a histogram using your CAS calculator. Once you've opened up a new document, the first thing we want to do is we want to input the data. So to do that, we're going to insert a new page. Press menu and four. We're inserting a list and spreadsheet page. Now that first column, you're going to want to populate that with all of your data values. I've done that already. So I've got a column here with 30 pieces of information in it. Now when you're at the bottom of the column and you want to move your way back up to the top very quickly, an easy shortcut to do that is to press Control followed by 7. That moves you up to the top. Now the last thing we need to do in this page is we need to label our data. The data that I've entered represents the height of a heights of students in a made-up class. So I need to label the column. To do that, I'm going to move up to the top box with that little label button, and I'm going to give it an intelligent name. This is an important thing to do because when you have multiple variables defined, you want to be able to know what it is you're talking about. So I'm going to call this height. I'm not going to give it some random name of different letters. I'm going to call it height because that is what it represents. Press enter, and now I'm done with this page. The next thing I need to do is I need to add a second page. So I'm going to do control and then doc or plus page. This time I'm adding number five, a data and statistics page. Press five, this is what I get. What you're going to do from here is you're going to add a variable. So you can move your cursor down to the bottom and click and add a variable that variable that you are adding is the height. As you can see, that gives you a nice little dot plot, but we want a histogram. To change this to a histogram, we go into the menu, and we go to number one, plot type, and we're changing the plot type to a histogram, number three. That looks pretty good. Uh, however, we may want to change the settings slightly. For my heights, I don't want quite this many bars. I want each bar to be approximately five centimeters wide. So in this case, I want, let's say my first bar to be 145 to 150 centimeters, 150 to 155, and so on. That's what I want. Right now, I don't have that. So to change this, I go to menu and I'm going to change the plot properties, number two. Histogram properties and then I'm going to change the bin settings, number two. I still want an equal bin width. All of the columns should be the same width, so press one. The width here, because I'm looking for 145 to 150, I want the width to be five. I'm going to press tab, and the alignment, that's the calculator asking, where do I want my first column or my first bin to start? I want the first bin to start at 145. So I set that up, and I press OK. Now, as you can see, it's not a great view. I can't see really enough of the data. So what I need to change here is I need to change the window settings so I can see all the way up here. To do that, you go to Menu, Window Zoom, which is 5, followed by 2, Zoom Data. This is something that's always very, very useful to do, Menu 5, 2, and it'll allow you to see a much better image or a much better glimpse of what the data actually looks like. So I can see here, for example, in this column, I have five students whose height is between 165 and 170 centimeters, whereas I only have one student whose height is between 190 and 195. So I hope that helps. That's how you create a histogram. And one final thing I'd like to point out is the labels across the bottom here, where they have 145, there's no label here, but that would be 150, 
155, 160, and so on. This is how you should label your histograms when you're drawing them by hand. What I do not want to see is someone who labels a histogram column with something like 145 to 150. This is incorrect. You need to label the individual axes with the numbers. I hope this helps. Come and see me if you have any questions.